Peter Eliades with you. Stock Market Cycles Update for Monday, April 27th. These are the charts we've been looking at for the past few days. Again, I want to emphasize they have nothing to do with price projections. This is simple technical analysis. What I've added on that I didn't have on before was the 50-day moving averages for both the S&P Cash Index, that's the green line right here, and for the Dow Jones Industrials, the green line right here. Isn't it interesting that as, as at this very point in this time span, that they're almost exactly at the same level, the 50% retracement and the 50-day moving average. And they're both relatively important indicators now. So what wouldn't be a surprise, and again, this is pure speculation, has nothing to do with projections, is to see prices go a little higher, then pull back to this area of the 50% retracement and the 50-day moving average as it starts to turn to slow down its downward slope and turn up and go around, something like this. And that would take us into the middle of May, as we mentioned before. But I wanted to show you both of these. As you can see, the S&P now has one day above that 50% retracement level. The Dow, eh, it's too close to call. The 50% is 24,072 rounded off and 60 points higher. As you can see, it's a very tiny bit above that 50% retracement level. So you need to see more there to say that that's a significant break above. So, but these are in the right direction and they give more confidence for the projections. Now, we're not going to look at too much at all today. In fact, all I'm going to look at is the shortest term projections on a closing basis. And this is the S&P and we'll show you the web chart on this because it's easier to see. This light blue line are is, it represents the closing prices on the S&P Cash Index. So all we have to do is click on it and go to Show Web Chart. This makes it a lot clearer, doesn't it? Okay, so this is where it closed. It came up, almost hit the continuum here, but didn't. And it crossed the continuum right here. This is the lower side, the upper side, and it's giving a closing price projection to between 2901.63 and 2925.21. <clears throat> Chances are that even if we're going to get a pullback, that we see this number fulfilled first. Now, I say that because this is the S&P, but let's take a look at the other indicators. Okay, here is the DJIA. Closing prices and closing price projections. Virtually the same thing. Here's the closing price. Here's the prior low. Came up like this, crossed above the continuum right here. Here's the lower end. Here's the higher end. Those two crossings give this closing price projection. 24,271 and changed, 24,450. So again, the odds favor before any pullback of any significant nature that we see this projection met first, okay? Now we'll take a look at the New York Composite Index. Okay, there's a slightly different picture here, and uh, with this one, you can make a case, let's make these closing prices only. Look what happened here. We got a little bit through the continuum, came over, and then crossed it clearly right here. I would say that this is the more clear projection. But on the other hand, look what's happened with the New York Composite. It's actually inside the projection window. That's a little bit troublesome for our short-term case because this tends to be the most accurate projection giver. But I would say that because the S&P and the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average show slightly higher projections on a closing basis that we would expect those to be seen before a decline of any significance uh, takes place. Remember, we have significantly higher projections outstanding. We're interested now only in the short term. And two of these on the short term are telling us we have at least a little bit further to go short term before you can look for the possibility of a short-term pullback. That's where we stand. Not too much to look at today. So far, projections are working the way they're supposed to be working. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Haven't subscribed yet? Do so in the bottom right. Click the bell. Get your notifications whenever these updates go on. Thanks for watching.